What's up guys, I just got out of watching the movie Sonic and let me tell you a little bit of backstory before I get into the movie. All right, so when the first trailer came out ago, almost a year ago, with the initial design, I was like, what the hell is that? Is that a dead rodent? It looks like they put that curse of Chucky on him and brought him back to life. Like it was, it was pretty bad. And then they received a lot of trash talk, a lot of criticism from the fans. And many months later, the second trailer came out for this movie with the new design. And that's the Sonic I know. Like, that looked really accurate from the old video games. Now, I'm not really familiar with the really, really, really old video games, but the most recent one that I played was the game released in 2006 that was available on PS3 and also on Xbox, I believe. And by playing this game and watching this movie, it did look the same. It looked pretty good. And I like the design. And that's why I want to commend the director, the producers, everyone involved, that they listened to the audience and they made this change. Because he changed the design, I, I respected them and I was like, I have to go see the movie now. So that got me way more excited. Now coming out of seeing this movie, I could say that it's it's pretty good. I mean, it's a family friendly movie. It has jokes for, for everyone. And let me tell you straight up. <clears throat> I'm going say it right now. Sonic is the PG Deadpool. I mean, he really is the PG Deadpool. The very first line in the movie, he says something like, like Deadpool has said in his old movies, like, like a Deadpool 1. He's like, I know what you're probably thinking. How did I get in this situation? It's, it's something like that. I'm like, yo, 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 no, 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 no. This is Deadpool. Like the way the way they make the storyline, he's kind of narrating in the past, and then we get to the present. That's Deadpool right there. That's Deadpool. Sonic is the prince of pop culture. Come on, all these references he makes uh, makes of. Movies, comic books, TV shows, companies, you have no idea how many advertisements there are in this movie by just saying jokes about them. I'm gonna spoil one. No, okay, I won't spoil it. I'll let you guys watch the movie and then you'll get my, uh, you'll get my point. And besides of Sonic being Deadpool, he is also Quicksilver. I mean, when you're having a movie based on a character who moves fast, Obviously, they're gonna take a second to put in a scene where he's running and everything around him is in slow motion. And that scene is basically Quicksilver from, from X-Men, so. Oh, and before I forget, Sonic is Thor. Sonic is Thor. He, it just felt like I was watching Thor Ragnarok. So yes, Deadpool, Quicksilver, and Thor all into one little character. But uh, they had some really funny scenes in this movie. Like one of the funniest scenes was that was that elevator scene. It came out in the trailer, just a little part of it. But that, that elevator scene is pretty funny. Now throughout the movie, Sonic likes to talk a lot, like a lot. And there's a part where he talks too much and he starts to get a little bit annoying. But the good thing that the director did in in this situation is that when he starts to get a little bit annoying, they they switch the story and something happens to Sonic where we feel bad for him. So that annoyance kind of goes away, and, th and that's pretty smart. Because cause in the movie, he was annoying Tom too much, and it felt like we were getting annoyed too. So then he had to switch up the, the energy on him. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty good job from the director. All right, let's take a second to talk about Jim Carrey. Like, this is the old Jim Carrey, like the vintage Jim Carrey that I used to remember from watching The Grinch, The Cable Guy, The Mask. He just steals every single scene he's in, and that's amazing. Now let's talk about the story. It's not going to be any Oscar award winning, any type of, you know, celebrated story. It's just a simple story. A story. I think I said that like five times already. So this story, it's not that many plot holes. It's a simple story. There you go. I said it again. Well, Sonic has to leave his world because in his world, they want to steal his powers, all right? So Sonic has to come to Earth. And in Earth, my boy's a Freddy Cougar stalker. Like, he's over here watching humans through the windows, seeing how they interact, how they behave. It's kind of weird. But but then again, he, he wants friends. He wants a family. And throughout the whole movie, he becomes friends with Tom. And they have a good dynamic between each other. And the relationship is pretty good. And you know, that's the great thing about this movie. Overall, it has some hilarious moments and then there's some heartwarming scenes in there that really makes everything well balanced and I really enjoyed this movie. Now, if you haven't already seen this movie, 
When you see it, make sure to stay past the mid credit scenes. There's nothing at the end. But the mid credit scenes, it looks like it's gonna... They're gonna make a sequel. Of course. They're gonna make a sequel. I won't spoil who's gonna be in the mid credit scene, but just stick around. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna make a trilogy out of this. So did you guys watch Sonic the movie already? Or are you going to? When you do, let me know what you think of this movie. And what are your predictions for the sequel? Do you think Robotnik is gonna come back? Do you think more characters are gonna come in and... It's gonna be like Avengers Endgame by the trilogy, you know? Just let me know in the comment section below what you think. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.